at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium for the 2016 Cardinal Newman Classic Championship game. And what a matchup. The St. Mary's of Stockton Rams ranked in the top 10 in the country, taking on the Cardinal Newman Cardinals, ranked in the top 10 in NorCal, coming off a Division IV state title last year. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox along with Nick Matos. And uh, boy, these are the teams you drop on the chalkboard that you want to see in the championship. Here they are. And boy, I couldn't call this one. It's going to be a coin toss. Should be a terrific matchup. And I think the team that shoots well, takes care of the basketball, is going to be the team that wins this one tonight. There's no doubt these are the two best teams in the tournament. They've won each of their games handily. They come into the game, both teams are fresh. They didn't have to play their starters in the fourth quarters of either of their games. So there's no excuse for nobody to bring it tonight. This is the game we were looking for in the beginning of the tournament, and we've got the matchup we wanted. Two heavyweights going at it here. For St. Mary's of Stockton last night, a terrific performance from Nina Young, particularly in the first half. She had 25 points. Nina was on fire. She scored 25 points, as you mentioned, and all these were three-pointers. I don't think she missed one three-pointer. St. Mary's mounted a big first-half lead. She ended up with 29 points on the game. And look at that one, well beyond the arc. Akira DaCosta, who was not scheduled to start, ended up starting and had a good game also. But it was really Nina Young that led the way for the St. Mary's of Stockton Rams and she just had a tremendous ball game. If she can shoot like that tonight, I think uh, Cardinal Newman's gonna be in big trouble. No question about that. There is her final line on the night last night against Pleasant Valley. For Cardinal Newman, they got some great outside shooting as well last night, and it was Maya Flores who had the hot hand for them, along with Avery Cargo, but Flores was hot from start to finish. Maya Flores was over in the corner over there, and her three-pointers, they started off, the whole team started off, they were shooting very well, and that's what they're gonna need to do tonight. If they're going to have any chance here against St. Mary's, they're going to need to control the basketball, slow the tempo down, and make their shots. If they can do that, they'll stay in this game and have a good chance to, to upset St. Mary's, who I believe is the favorite in this game. And there's Maya Flores. She finished with 20 points last night, six threes against Camp Belinda. That's a big reason why Cardinal Lumen won. So this should be a great matchup, exactly what we were looking for at the beginning of the tournament. The two top teams ranked in Northern California. It's Cardinal Newman and St. Mary's of Stockton in the 2016 Cardinal Newman Championship game coming up next. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. At George Peterson Insurance, we support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We are invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. Malloy, Emory, and Vesconi Insurance Services, a professional agency with personal service, insuring wine country since 1890. The Loft, Sonoma County's premier full-service salon in Fountain Grove, voted Best of Sonoma County's Best Salon. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, featuring hand-split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron, delivering quality for over 40 years. And we are just about ready for the start of this championship game. They have just announced the starting lineups for both squads. They scrimmaged about a week and a half ago, and it's a very good contest. The teams have battled a lot 
during AAU competition and the like, and it's been very close. St. Mary's would have to be the favorite going in. Of course, they were the favorite to win the tournament. There's Tom Gonzalez, their head coach, and kind of deked us a little bit yesterday, told us that Akira DaCosta wouldn't play, and she played, and she played very well, and she's back at it, getting ready to jump center against Haley Vice-Neath. There's Monica Myrtle on the other side. In her sixth year, all six years, this program has been in existence. Here we go, it is St. Mary's of Stockton. The freshman Amaya Oliver who has it. A couple of good freshmen in this game. Oliver and Choice. St. Mary's with the first possession. There's Jada Moss, a very good sophomore as well. And there's Oliver up top. Shake and bait goes up strong against Lauren Walker and scores the first basket of the game. Amaya Oliver. Lauren Walker's gonna have to, to uh, contend with the speed there. Tal Webb gets it beyond the arc. And a whistle, not sure what happened. Shot clock, I guess, didn't reset quickly enough. It's only at 27 right now. I think they're going to run it down to 24. David, looks like Coach Monica is going to put Lauren Walker on the freshman Amaya Oliver there. That's going to be a, a, a challenge for Lauren because Amaya is so quick. So she's got yeah. Haley on on uh, Akira DaCosta, the big center. Yeah, good strategy by St. Mary's to get Oliver the ball at the top of the key and let her work her way down into lane. They kind of cleared that left side for her and she was able to beat Lauren Walker off the dribble. So a 2-0 lead for St. Mary's of Stockton. There's Oliver guarding Maya Flores. Good matchup right there. Tal Webb takes the pass, double teaming everywhere. Costa steps in front of it. Cargill trying to keep it alive for Newman. And she does slide it across to Haley Vice Neat. Tal Webb now. We'll see if they can attack. Webb from 13. Got it. Big basket right there to get Cardinal Newman on the board. You just saw St. Mary's recipe. They swarm on defense, double team the ball, and they try to get a steal. That's their goal. Each time down on defense. Costa off the mark. Little bump from behind. Nene Young trying to get the rebound from Maya Flores, and she taps it out, so it'll be Cardinal Newman's ball. St. Mary's in a full court press. Yeah, they're going to be in that press most of the night. Here's Cargill bringing it up. Haley Vice neat. They're going to find Flores, but Tal Webb threw it a little high. She had a no-look pass there. She just sailed it over the head of uh, Maya Flores. Turnovers are going to be a problem if they start to mount up for Cardinal Newman. I want to welcome those of you watching from the Stockton area. Welcome to YSN365.com. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage over the last three nights. Kira DaCosta guarded by Haley Vice-Neat. DaCosta down the lane with the double team. Nice defense by Walker and Vice-Neat. Here comes Maya Flores now up the floor. Bounces ahead to Cargill and Cargill lays it in. Cardinal Newman takes the lead. Maya Flores with a beautiful bounce pass right there. Both teams have turned it over once now. There's Nina Young a little strong. Lauren Walker has the rebound. Real key to box out, but there's the turnover as Oliver and DaCosta double team and Nina Young scoops it up and in. So a transition basket for St. Mary's as the press leads to points. 4-4 game. Vice Neat over the floor as she's open. Doesn't get her first three attempt of the night. Kept alive and falling into the hands of Ariel Johnson. Johnson, a very nice player, and she goes down the lane and in. Nobody picked her up. Got to stop the ball, and it's now 6-4. St. Mary's is in their full court press, and they press whether it's out of bounds play or a missed shot. Lauren Walker was open, but she ends up kicking it out to Flores, who sticks the three. Maya Flores picking up where she left off last night. She had six three-pointers, and she gives Cardinal Lumina a one-point lead here in the first quarter. Nice start for the Cardinals. There goes Oliver. Same play they ran to start the game, and this time she misses. Haley Vice-Neat was there for a little help and comes down with the rebound. Carter Lumet beating the press again. Tal Webb finds Flores open. 
Walker there, blocked by Oliver. Oliver got off the court real quick there. Lauren Walker was under the basket, had it looked like an easy putback, but Oliver came over real quick to freshman and got off the ground and got her hand on it and blocked it out of bounds. Quick substitution, Oliver checks out. Taylor Thomas checks in for Coach Gonzalez. Walker trying to post up, gets it back up to Haley Weissneet. Cardinals working it around the horn very nicely. Walker keeps it alive, but tapped it out of bounds, so St. Mary's will take over. Cargo had a good look at that in the corner, just came off the front rim off of it. Man-to-man -man defense here by the, by the uh, Cardinal Newman. Moss up top, looking for someone, gets some help from Ariel Johnson, who tries to get it back to her, and throws it away. So both teams with two turnovers. Something we haven't seen St. Mary's do a lot of is turn the ball over, but Cardinal Newman's a very good defensive team as well. Not known as much for their full court pressure, but they can defend. Don't win a state title without being able to do that. Unforced error that time as Cardinal Newman tries the long pass across and Haley Weissneet can't corral it. So it'll be St. Mary's ball. They trail by one. Coach Monica Myrtle is going to bring in the freshman, Anya Choice. She's had a couple of really nice games in her first action up here at the varsity level. She's going to bring some speed into the lineup. Also going to have Taylor Hextrom is going to come in and give Lauren Walker a little breather here early. Yeah, Taylor Hextrom who's come off the bench both nights and played extremely well for Cardinal Newman. Do the same right here, just four minutes into this one. Taylor for three. Maya Flores has it. Cardinal Newman so far doing a nice job rebounding the basketball. See if they can keep it up. Tapped out of bounds that time by Ariel Johnson, who went head first for that pass. Sometime, Great hustle. Yeah, sometimes, Dave, when their team's pressing like this, you can break it with some long passes. Cardinal Newman needs to look up court. Anya Choice, the freshman in the game now for the first time. That one's tapped out by Akira DaCosta. You never, you think you have an open lane, and those hands are so quick. DaCosta and Oliver both, they do such a great job of getting those hands up and, and those passes that look like you have a clear shot at end up getting batted, sometimes stolen. And you're exactly right, Dave. Their whole game is predicated on their speed or their defense. Cargill trying to beat the five seconds, does get it in. Haley Weissneet back up to Hextrom. Swing it around to Flores. On your choice now as the shot clock was about to expire and she travels with it. This will be a real true test for the freshman Anya Choice who's played extremely well. She had 17 points in the first game. And now she'll be facing the intense pressure of the St. Mary's of Stockton Rams. Akira this Costa. could be the biggest game that she's ever played in her basketball career. Might have got away with a travel one. right there. DaCosta with her first basket. Need to look up court here. Avery Cargill. There's Flores. Doesn't get it. Flores has had some good looks so far. She's one of four. Nina Young, her first three of the night. That's definitely her spot right there. Yeah, she she likes five of those in the first half alone yesterday. Such a great pure shooter. Nina Young makes it a four point lead. Choice gets it over to Haley Vice Neat. There's Maya Flores again in the corner. Taylor Hextrom now back out to Flores for three. Big basket for Maya Flores. Now two of five from beyond the arc. Nina Young bumped by Flores. First personal foul. Great ball movement by Newman. Here's the last three-pointer by Maya. Catches it, gets it into her, into her, back to her here. Sets up quickly, releases a beautiful arch on it. Maya has a real quick release, and that's going to be so important because of the St. Mary's defense is swarming. Cardinal Newman going inside out that time with Hextron and Flores. There's Oliver down the lane. Nice defense. Taylor Hextron. Nice pass out in front. 
Cardinals trying to set up, but got a little too quick down there, and it's turned over again. Five turnovers now. We talked about turnovers. Cardinal Newman has to possess the ball. Get good shots every time down. Backdoor cut by DaCosta. Guarded by Hextrom. T Hex stays in front of her and bats it away. Nice steal. Cardinals down by one. Almost turned back over. And that ball was last touched by Caroline Stevens. She tried to sell it going the other way, but Veronica Boski said, no, no, I saw that clearly. And that was the correct call. 11-10. Substitutions now. One point lead for St. Mary's. Tal Webb to Taylor Hextrom. Avery Cargill drives the lane, pulls up, doesn't get it. Oliver with the rebound now for the St. Mary's of Stockton Rams. Rams wearing their black with green trim tonight. Young shot off the mark. Players hitting the floor. Not sure who this is going to go against. Young hit right at that spot on the court where she likes to take her three-pointers, Dave. Yeah, it's going to go against Oliver. Here it was, just an in and out right there. She's got such a beautiful arch and such nice range on those three-pointers. She's well past the three-point line on those. Webb sides of the floor is... In and out, there's Tal Webb. Back to Avery Cargill. Cargill will get an open look from the top. Never really got the handle on the ball that time, and Webb is bumped by Johnson. Good position for Tal Webb. Second team foul against the St. Mary's of Stockton Rams. Cardinal Newman's getting good looks, Dave. Their shots aren't dropping right now, but they're staying right here, 11 to 10. Yeah, Monica Myrtle definitely has to be pleased with their shot selection and ball movement. Though they have turned it over five times. Hextrom down the lane, and she got it. Taylor Hextrom, one of the most improved players I've seen over the last couple of years. And now Cardinal Newman leads by one. Hextrom came off the bench and done a nice job. Cargill has to let Johnson go, and she lays it in. She was in danger of fouling her on that. So she let her go, and Johnson does a nice job of scooping it to the hoop. St. Mary's of Stockton back up by one. Cardinals get it across and attack. Choice to the rack. And the freshman lays it in. Anya Choice, big basket for her. But look out, DaCosta the other way. Oh my goodness, after a made basket, Akira DaCosta gets the lay in at the other end of the floor. No time to celebrate that made basket. Yeah, Cargill just didn't get back enough. An over and back call that time as Cargill had not completely established herself in the front court. Haley Bysteet going to re-enter the game here for Cardinal Newman. Give Maya Flores her first breather of the game. Coach Monica Myrtle's doing a really good job of keeping her players fresh. I think this is the start that Cardinal Newman was hoping for, Dave. They're right here, toe to toe. This is a heavyweight fight that's going to go all four rounds. Winding down this first quarter, under 10 seconds. Ariel Johnson misses, but DaCosta right there on the backside for the putback, and it's a big one. 17-14, St. Mary's leads after one. A great first quarter here in this 2016 Cardinal Newman Classic Championship game. We'll be back with the start of quarter number two in just a moment. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 National Qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. So a great start to this one. 17-14 St. Mary's Five turnovers by Cardinal Newman in the first quarter. 
Not the number they were looking for, but uh, certainly manageable. They did a very nice job rebounding. I think that was the key to them. The teams are, are even with five rebounds apiece, and that's a number that we're going to have to keep a close eye on tonight. How'd the turnovers end up in that first half? First five quarter? to three in favor of St. Mary's. They only turned over three times, but I think that's a pretty close number there as well. Cargill flips it to Choice. Flores is out right now. Walker tries to take the pass underneath and can't get it. Taken away by St. Mary's. There's a quick turnover for Cardinal Newman. Nina Young does it again. You Nina cannot. Young getting it going, and Coach Monica Myrtle takes a timeout. Coach Myrtle nice just shot. Yeah, Coach Myrtle's taking a quick timeout because you, she, everybody in this gym knows that Nina Young's going to hit this shot right here. She's in the spot that she can score from. Coach Myrtle is not happy about that. She's talked to the girls about it. We cannot leave her open in that spot. So she calls a quick timeout, and I'm sure she's over there right now. They're talking about that, and Nina Young's not going to get those open looks anymore. If, Take a Cardinal, look at, if Cardinal Newman does their job. Check it out right here. St. Mary's is number two in NorCal. Cardinal Newman number 10. Top eight teams will qualify for the open division. St. Mary's was the number one seed last year, but lost to Pinewood in the NorCal final. That was a huge upset to knock them out of their number one ranking in the nation. Ended up number two in the country at the end of last year. Tal Webb dribbles it off the line. There's a turnover off of the timeout. That's not the recipe that you want as a coach. Six point lead for St. Mary's. They've got the lead and the leather here in the second quarter. Key sequence right here. There's Nina Young again. Doesn't get this one. Flores is there for the rebound. Anya Choice, the freshman, and she travels and turns it over. So we're starting to see a little bit of the freshman jitters for her right now and handling the pressure. But, you know, she's the type of player that's going to get used to this quickly and settle into a groove. You know it. Yeah, she just has to relax here and just do what she can do there. She came down the court there, Dave. She was looking for somebody to pass to, but she's the type of player that wanted to take that ball to the hoop and should have taken it to the hoop. Up top it goes. Oliver will try a three. She hasn't shot much from out there. But there's DaCosta, Akira DaCosta, so strong to the rack. Now eight points and two rebounds for the junior. Top ranked junior in the entire country, Akira DaCosta. And there she is getting the almost getting the steal at the other end. This is a, a Newman down by eight. Important possession right here early in the game. It's an eight point lead here, but Cardinal Newman's a little bit out of sync right now. So if they could get a basket here and help keep the ship going, floating forward here, that's what they need here. St. Mary's is getting momentum. Over the years, Stockton has won eight state championships. And check it out, the pass ahead. Haley Weisnick gets a hand up. And they're missing a couple of real good players right now. Ajay Murray, who's on her way to San Diego State, is out with an ACL, and Nicole Young is also injured. So they're missing a couple real good players. They had one of their top returning seniors transfer before the start of the year. So Tom Gonzalez is doing this with a lot of young players that, that are just coming up and, and coming into their own in the program, and what a great job he's done. Haley by Sneet with the block. Beautiful Johnson block. a little stunned, I think, on that one. Yeah, here it is. She drives to her left. Haley comes over and blocks a shot, goes out of bounds. Beautiful block by Haley Vice Neat. DaCosta misses, Flores has it. Three rebounds for Maya Flores. Another big possession for Cardinal Newman. They trail by eight. You don't want to lose touch, especially in the first half. That one batted out of bounds, almost saved by Stevens, who really made up a lot of ground. Haley Vice Neat chose to let that one bounce one more time in anticipation of it going out. And Stevens almost caught up with it. So an eight-point lead now for St. Mary's. Cardinal Lima will try to change that. Cargill around the horn to Choice. Hextrom up top. Haley Vice knee. Got it off the glass. Big basket there for Chief. That's a huge basket right there. Banked it high off the glass. Jada Moss and Hextrom almost got the steal there. And that's an over and back. Apparently Hextrom didn't tap it. 
Tom Gonzalez is going to look down his bench and get some more players in the game. Nina Young is going to come right back in. She had taken a little break. Dave, it's hard to practice against speed like this, and you just can't duplicate it in practice. So when the game's going, this is the fastest they've ever seen defenders. So Cardinal Newman's going to adjust as the game's going on. Anya Choice pulls up and trains an 18-footer. Big basket right there for the freshman. Sears starting to gain some confidence now, and Newman pulls back to within three. Kira DaCosta flips it up top. Stevens will try a three, well off the mark. And that's going to be Cardinal Newman's ball. Anya Choice came over, defended the three-point shot, did a nice job. And a great job by Monica Murdo to leave Anya in the game. She had made a couple of mistakes early on, but Coach Murdo realizes her importance, importance and that she's going to have to play big minutes against good teams, and that's what she's letting her do right now. That's a great point. And she's a scoring machine. Maya Flores, clutch basket as that one hits the bottom of the net. Her third three of the night, and we are tied 22-22 at the other end. Taylor Hextrom disrupts the shot, and Oliver loses it out of bounds. Another turnover by St. Mary's. Talking to Monica Myrtle about whether she would prefer to get moved up into the open or not. A lot of people say, oh, be careful. Don't, don't beat St. Mary's or any team like that. You're going to go open. But she said that was one of her goals when she took on the program, that it would be an honor to be the first team from Sonoma County to get into the open division. That's a great honor. You got a lot of tough teams in there, though, Dave, to get to the state championship again. Johnson. Let's take one game at a time here and see what happens. That develops. That wouldn't be till the end of the year. Johnson, turn around in the lane. This is certainly a game that if Cardinal Newman can win, that would they would they would point to on their resume as as a qualifier for the open division. No doubt about that. Right now they're in the ten hole. A win over number two St. Mary's would move them way up. Here comes the steal and the lay-in by Ariel Johnson, who scores two quick bucket buckets and now has eight points. That's the pass that you could not make if you're Cardinal Newman. They're looking to steal that cross-court pass. Anya Choice, nice left-handed dish to Flores, who sticks another three. Flores with 12 points, all from beyond the arc, and now it's a one-point game. Single-handedly, she's keeping Cardinal Newman in this game. I'm surprised St. Mary keeps giving her that open shot. There goes DaCosta down the lane, no good. Nice defense by Haley Weissneet. Unfortunately, she put the ball on the ground right there, and that is what almost caused the turnover right there. Yeah, Dave, you, you said it's, a, it's you do not want to put the ball on the ground there. If you can, try to pass out of it. If you have to, use a timeout. Here it is again, the three-point shot by Maya. She's right now just red hot, and she's standing in that same corner. She's buried three of them there. Chief's going to take a little break. Ariel Johnson picked up that personal foul, fighting for the ball under the basket. One point game. Newman will try and take the lead right here. St. Mary's has backed off their full court press now. It's only a half court press. Stepping in front, Jada Moss almost got it from Choice. And now Avery Cargill has the ball. Shot clock at five. Cargill's going to have to put it up, and she nails it. Avery Cargill for three, and Cardinal Newman leads by two. Bench was really helping her out, counting that shot clock down, and the blocking foul that goes against Cargill at the other end. What a shot there by a Avery Cargill. Shot clock's running down. Anya Choice passes it back. The crowd's chanting down the numbers here. She throws one up. Nothing but net. You got to love that when the bottom of the net comes up through the basket. Sophomore Avery Cargill. There's Nina Young. And she got a great roll on that one. What makes Nina Young so tough to guard is how quickly she gets rid of the ball. That was a catch and shoot before anyone could react to it. Some good three-point shooting in this game. St. Mary's back on top by one. Flores tries to drive and loses the handle. Nina Young takes it away. They pick Young up, trailing now. Ariel Johnson wide open for three. Jada Moss, she drives and lays it in with the left hand. No Sophomore, weak side Jada help. Moss. No weak side help on defense there, Dave. You like to see somebody on the opposite side with their foot in the paint there to help out. All the defenders were latched too tight. Yeah. 
Taylor Hextrom all the way to Flores in that same spot. She's going to drive and dish, however. Choice to the rack. Scoop to the hoop, just a little strong. Taylor Hextrom has it stripped out of her hands as she was fighting for the rebound. Nice drive by Anya Choice. She just didn't quite get it to drop. And Haley Vice will come back into the ball game for Cardinal Newman. I just love watching this freshman play. She dives to the hoop. She's very offensive minded and has a lot of good, good offensive moves. I'm sure she would like to have that one over. She'll drop that 99 out of 100 times. Three point lead for St. Mary's. There's Tal Webb and she's fouled. I believe it's gonna be on Oliver. It'll be her second. Tal Webb who had a real nice ball game last night ended up with 11 points or 12 points excuse me and five rebounds she'll go to the free throw line here She's and Webb gets the first good all-round player Dave she does it all for the Cardinal Newman team tough defense works hard on offense Webb gets them both clutch free throws first opportunity Cardinal Newman has had to shoot free throws and they get them both under two minutes to go in the quarter. Very low foul totals, considering the intense defensive pressure these teams are playing. Taylor for three. That's a big basket for Thomas Taylor. Taylor Thomas, I should say. Taylor <laughs> Thomas. I'll get it right. I think we got your point. Beautiful shot, though. Nina Young dished it over to her, and she hit it. Four-point lead for St. Mary's. Cargill trying to change that, doesn't get it. Stevens ends up with the rebound. Tal Webb almost got it away from Moss. One minute to go in the quarter and the half. Nina Young up top. Shot clock heading toward the 10 second mark. Flores trying to stay in front of Young. Five seconds to shoot. Nina Young will have to put it up. She drives and does lay it in at the buzzer. My goodness. What great timing for Nina Young, and it's a six-point lead. She can do it all, Dave. Outside shot, drives to the hoop. Choice to Cargill. Back to Flores, an open look from that corner again. She is deadly from that right corner. Under 30 seconds to go in this first half. A 36-33 lead for St. Mary's. And a timeout taken for Tom Gonzalez. Coach Tom Gonzalez is not happy about giving those open looks to Maya Flores from that corner over there. Okay, you have to address an open player. He's really giving it to his There's that great season Cardinal Newman had last year. It was just their fifth year of existence. Now is the sixth year. They won the Division IV state title, completed their second straight undefeated North Bay League season, and they went 31-5, and five, finished second in NCS to Salesian, who was then bumped up to the Open Division, and uh, they ended up being the number one seed in NorCal, and they ran the table. Terrific year for Monica Myrtle in her sixth year of running this Cardinal Newman program. They started it from scratch. There was no girls program here, no girls on campus until six years ago And Monica Myrtle, who played at Ursuline, just up the street. And it's a family affair here too. He's, she's got her dad and her sister helping her out. Yeah, it's funny, sometimes players will come off the bench and they're expecting Monica to kind of corner them and tell them and she sends them right down to dad and has them sit next to, to Tom and he gives them the lesson that's needed. There's some good action right there. The shot clock or the quarter expires. 36-33. Are we going to get free throws here? I do not believe so. I think that's going to be it. No, they may put a little time back on the clock. I'm not sure. Veronica Bosky and Nancy Clary are trying to figure out what to do here. I think they might put a second or two back on the clock. Tom Gonzalez isn't real happy about that. I believe the foul call is going to go against Akira DaCosta. She'll be her first. I think there was a couple of seconds, or at least one second on the clock. Whether that means anything here, we'll see. But I believe they put a full two back. Okay. Yeah, I think that, that, I think that's the right call, Dave. I really do. The call was fouled, and the clock kept running. Opportunity here. If you can throw one up to court, somebody get a last second shot here. Boy, this first half is everything we thought it would be, Dave. Two heavyweights just exchanging blows. 
three-point shooting galore. Just an absolute beautiful first half by both teams. And Cardinal Newman's just going to be content to inbound it and head to the locker room. The Cardinals have shown that they could play with St. Mary's. No question about that, Nick. It's a 36-33 game and could go either way into the second half. Both coaches are going to have a lot to talk about in terms of taking care of the basketball and operating against these terrific defenses. What a great half. Yeah, we break three-point shooting. I was just impressed with Nina Young from St. Mary's is just nails and what can you say about Maya Flores? She just nailed every shot she could. I think she just missed one three-point attempt. Basically, those two are putting on a shooting clinic and should be fun to see what happens here in the second half. So it's 36-33 at the break. We'll be back with some highlights of the first half and the start of quarter number three in just a moment. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. Teams are out of the locker room as we get set for the start of the third quarter. We're going to take a look at highlights of that first half of play. Both teams doing a real nice job playing some defense and shooting the basketball up first, Cardinal Newman. Here's Tall Webb coming down the court there. She's looking around the middle. Lauren Walker gives up a short shot for a three-pointer from Maya Flores. Again, the ball, nice ball movement, and Flores was just red hot in the first half basically single-handedly kept Cardinal Newman in the game with her 15 points. She's just got it from that corner and Coach Tom Gonzalez of St. Mary's was very irate about that. Here's some highlights here from St. Mary's. Swarm the defender, steal it. A nice easy pass to Nina Young. Nina scored from all over the court. She's got some three-pointers coming up, I'm sure. Nice drive. That's Ariel Johnson, but then DaCosta mops it up. DaCosta got some of her points right around the basket. Yeah, you know, she wasn't really the big star for them in the first the first half there. Nina Young is definitely the star, and she's made some all different some types of variety of shots. She and you just see she scoop shots that in. And she's only a junior. You know, we've seen a lot of really good young players in this tournament. Basically, Dave, most of the players in the tournament are younger players. There's only a few seniors on each team. So here we go. Start of the third quarter here in this championship game. Big NorCal ranking implications in this one. DaCosta with Lauren Walker. Walker holds her ground. Six foot five versus six foot two. And Walker did a nice job not to foul DaCosta there. And disrupt the shot. Shot clock is at 10. Johnson tries at three. Tal Webb comes down with it, fighting for the rebound and a tie-up, the possession arrow pointing Cardinal Newman's way. One thing I notice right now is Coach Monica Myrtle has switched Lauren Walker back on uh, DeCosta now. They started the game there. Walker was trying to guard the freshman Oliver, but they've made a switch now. Walker is going to, to guard uh, DeCosta. Haley Weissney brings it across now. Walker with good position, being guarded by Taylor Thomas. There's the shot by Haley Weissney. Her second three of the night, she has six points, and that ties the score. Good start for Cardinal Newman. DaCosta to the rack, disrupted again by Walker, but then the reach in by Walker, and she fouls Akira DaCosta. DaCosta worked real hard on that. Missed her initial shot. Worked hard to get the rebound. It's not a shooting shot. They're going to have the ball inbounds here. Tie ball game here in this championship. Johnson trying to get by Cargill. Does, but doesn't get the shot. There's Akira DaCosta. Blocked by Walker again. Two blocks to start the third quarter. Nina Young now to Oliver. 
Walker working hard underneath. DaCosta ends up being fouled by Chief. You could see the quickness of, of Oliver right there. She drove to the hoop. She shot the, She got the shot up, Dave. It rolled off. Here it is. Shoots a three. The three misses. DaCosta rebounds. Lauren Walker makes a nice block on it. Her second block in this sequence. DaCosta misses her first free throw. DaCosta gets one of two, and St. Mary's now has a one-point lead. St. Mary's in a half-court press. DaCosta with the steal. Cargill will try and stop her, and does. Mopped up, however, by Oliver. Amaya Oliver right there for the putback. And now a whistle away from the ball. Went against Ariel Johnson. I'm not sure what the call was. No, Tom Gonzalez doesn't like it. Well, let's take a look at it again here, Dave. You know, I didn't really see it on the replay. I'm not sure what happened. Well, Ariel, John Ariel Johnson it's came down and kept the play alive. Apparently threw an elbow, and it's going to be called a technical foul, and Haley Vice Neat will shoot free throws at the other end. Flagrant foul? Here it is. Yeah. Ariel Johnson came down and kept the ball alive as she tipped it with her hand. I guess maybe she caught Haley with the elbow. Haley Vice Neat hits the first. And second, very solid free throw shooter. Newman's four of four from the free throw line. And that pulls them to within one, and now they'll get the ball. What a game. Haley Vice Neat takes the inbound. Two Division I signees for this Cardinal Newman team, and Walker and Haley Vice Neat. Vice Neat on her way to Boise State. Walker on her way to Portland. Walker was wide open underneath, but couldn't handle the entry pass. Now Tal Webb from the corner, off the mark. Nice rebound by Johnson. Ariel Johnson with the pass ahead to DaCosta. She's fouled, count it, and one. Akira DaCosta. Lauren Walker had good position. Here's the fast break right here. Ariel Johnson leading it down. Finds DaCosta. DaCosta goes up, draws the foul, and gets the lay-in. Lauren Walker had good position, but DaCosta just so quick off the court. Three-point play for Akira DaCosta. Four-point lead for St. Mary's. Walker handles the press nicely. Tal Webb from 17. Nice shot right there to keep some momentum in Cardinal Newman's court as they continue to hang tough with St. Mary's of Stockton. Nina Young bumped by Walker, and that's her third. Lauren Walker was just a little bit late getting there, and now Taylor Hextrom is going to have to get into the ball game. Walker has picked up three quick fouls here in this third quarter. Nina Young shovels it up there, Dave, and Lauren puts her arms out. She, her body was in good position. If she would have kept her arms straight up, that would have been... Uh, she, I don't think she would have gotten called for the foul there, but she's going to go to the bench, and Hextrom's going to come in. She's done a great job all tournament long coming in off the bench. So, Can't complete the three-point play, but there's DaCosta again. Here DaCosta mops it up. Now a steal. Nina Young off the mark. Back up top. Thomas Taylor no good. Cardinal Newman trying to dodge a bullet, weather the storm, but having a tough time right now. Taken away by Hextrom. Big steal right there for Taylor Hextrom as St. Mary's had three chances to stretch the lead from six to eight or possibly nine, and they could not do it. Hextrom came off the bench and immediately made a good impact. Got a big rebound. Up top it goes to Avery Cargill. That's a huge three for the sophomore, Avery Cargill. And that pulls Cardinal Newman back to within three. Down the lane, Johnson lays it in. Blowing right past the defense, Ariel Johnson. 
St. Mary's back in their full court press. Cardinal Newman doing a nice job of coming up the court. Let's see if they can get a basket. Cargill thought about it again. Haley Weiss knee passes up the shot. Now she drives, goes up a little strong. Hextrom battling with Dina Young, and she reaches in. Taylor Hextrom picks up a foul. That is her first personal as well. Coach Monica Myrtle really wanted a foul call that. Haley Weiss Neat shot the ball and looked like there was defensive pressure on her. No foul called. Anya Choice checks in now. Five point lead for the St. Mary's Rams. A bunch of different players have gone on to play at the college and professional level for them, including three NBA players. There's a three by Ariel Johnson. I had the pleasure of watching Chelsea Gray play when she was in high school. She's now in the WNBA with the Los Angeles Sparks, the WNBA champs. What a great player she was in high school. She's going to try to hustle after this. It's going to be St. Mary's ball. Smart play by Cardinal Newman's ball. Smart play by Haley there. She's felt the she felt the defender coming on. So just reach down there and let the defender knock it out of bounds. Cardinal Newman has to be stronger with the basketball. They can't have any turnovers. That's going to be their their downfall. They need to to possess the ball, get it up court here and get a quality shot. Cargill gets it across. And a reach in there by Johnson. Ariel Johnson going for the steal. And that's three fouls on Johnson. So she's going to have to come out of the game. Nina Young will check back in. They really bailed out. St. Mary's bailed out Cardinal Newman there. The shot clock was winding down, Dave. They didn't reset it after the uh, ball was 32. So uh, Cardinal Newman now gets a fresh 30-second clock. Haley's going to go to the bench and take a little break here for Cardinal Newman. She looks winded. Eight-point lead for St. Mary's and Ariel Johnson. Takes a seat. They actually have uh, that foul going against Taylor Thomas, which surprises me. Here's Cargill now. Taylor Hextrom. Flores, who has not hit a three in the second half. Into the corner, Anya Choice. Hextrom out to Tal Webb with 10 to shoot. To Costa right there with the rebound, her fifth rebound of the ball game. Another opportunity here for St. Mary's to add to the lead. They're up by eight. There's Nina Young guarded by Maya Flores. Young trying to create off the dribble, now kicks it back out to Taylor Thomas. Six seconds to shoot. Flores going for the steal. It ends up right in the hands of Jada Moss. A tough break for Cardinal Newman as Flores got a hand on that, but Jada Moss shook loose and laid it in. 53-43, now a 10-point lead. We'll step aside here with 2.29 to go in the third quarter. St. Mary's up by 10. That was Tonight's what? game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. Malloy, Emory, and Vasconi Insurance Services, a professional agency with personal service, insuring wine country since 1890. Tough sequence right there for Cardinal Newman. They now trail by 10. This is an important possession right here. Cardinal Newman really needs a basket to keep this under double digits. Huge possession. See if Cardinal Newman can get a little bit of momentum back. They have tied the game. Choice for three, right under the basket, Taylor Hextrom. Flores is there to mop it up, doesn't get either. 
Nina Young has the ball now. Cardinals almost fouled her in the backcourt. Three ball, Taylor no good. And Taylor Webb fouls Akira to Costa. That was a good foul by, by Tall Webb right there, Dave, because that was going to be an easy putback. DeCosta got that rebound, and that was going to be an easy two points for her. Tall Webb did a good job of stopping the play right there with the foul. You don't want to give up an easy basket at this point in the game, down by 10. Next foul will put St. Mary's of Stockton into the bonus. Akira DeCosta to the rack. And one, that is why she is the number one ranked junior in the country right there, taking control of the ball game when her team needs it most. That's a good point, she did take control right there. Drove, split two defenders, and she's just so athletic and can get the shot up from all different angles, laid it in here and trying to add the one onto it. Kira DaCosta will try and complete the three-point play. Doesn't get it. Hextrom there. Knocked out of bounds. Smart play by Taylor there. She knows she was trapped, Dave, and just threw it off of the uh, defender's leg out of bounds. Very impressed with Taylor Hextrom. She's had a great tournament. Really a solid bench player that comes in there and does so well. There's a steal for Nina Young. Young to Moss. Nice spin move by Moss. Jada Moss, the sophomore, showing what she can do in the open floor. And it's a 14-point lead for St. Mary's. This game was tied 36-36. Since then, it's been a 21-7 run for St. Mary's of Stockton. Hextrom over to Anya Choice. Maya Flores hoping for an opportunity. Nina Young right there with her. Hextrom down the lane. Big basket for Cardinal Newman. Beautiful shot right there by Taylor. High off the backboard. Stevens back to Moss now. So many weapons for the St. Mary's team. There's Moss again. John Hextrom gets the steal. Great defense by Taylor Hextrom and a huge possession here for Cardinal Newman. So they try and grab some momentum back and stay within striking distance going into the fourth quarter. Under 35 seconds to play here in the third. It is Avery Cargill up top. Anya Choice now drives and dishes, and she's fouled. Foul call goes against Caroline Stevens. A little bit of growing pains here for Anya Choice, the freshman. You know, she's, she's such a great offensive player, but... This pressure defense of St. Mary's is confusing her just a little bit. She doesn't seem to want to take the ball to the hoop. Coach Monica Myrtle's going to talk to her a little bit here. I think this is a good time for her to, to uh, educate Anya a little bit. Shot clock is off. And a five-second call as DaCosta fronted Avery Cargill, and she couldn't get the ball inbounds in time. That is the tenth turnover by Cardinal Newman. St. Mary's swarming defense, Dave. But then the Rams turn it over. That's just their sixth. So Cardinal Newman will get another opportunity to cut the lead to 10 or even get it to within single digits if they hit a three here at the end of the quarter. St. Mary's in that full court press. They're going to try to slow this down. Going to their trap right here. Flores gets it off, but DaCosta blocks the shot. Well, Dave, they're not going to let Flores have that shot anymore. You can I see. I think they talked about that a little bit at the half. Yeah, here it is. Maya's looking to shot. you got DeCosta comes out and blocks it. I think they did talk about that at half, Dave. Tal Webb can't handle the inbound pass. And a traveling call. It goes against Oliver in the backcourt. So Cardinal Luma gets another chance to cut the lead here at the end of the third quarter. Five. Point seven on the clock. Well, it's a big turnover. It gives Cardinal Newman a chance here, Dave, right here at the end of the third quarter to get a basket. 5.7 seconds is not a lot of time. They're going to need to... There it is. Tal Webb. Oh, might have got away with a little push from behind there by Thomas Taylor. And the cost at the buzzer, no good. So St. Mary's 
with a nice surge there in the last four minutes of that third quarter. They lead it by 12 at the end of three. Three quarters of play in the books here in the Cardinal Lumen Classic Championship. We'll turn the page and head for the final eight minutes of this one. is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. So St. Mary's in control here, 12 point lead with the final eight minutes on the clock. Really turned, uh, turned up their defense a notch. The start of that third quarter, they got a few steals, they got some easy baskets, and uh, they earned it. The start of the fourth quarter here is so important for Cardinal Newman. They have to put some defensive stops and get some points, get back in this game. Kira DaCosta, very impressive in that third quarter. The block, a couple putbacks. Ariel Johnson misses her first shot, gets her own miss, however, and puts it in. Ariel Johnson's doing a good job of scoring some points for St. Mary's. She hadn't scored a whole lot of points in the first two games. Today she's scoring a lot more points than she had. There's Avery Cargill. A little strong. Costa has it. Long rebound foul by Hextrom over the back of DeCosta. Maya Flores there had a a third quarter where she didn't get any points. And I think that was because St. Mary's concentrated, Dave, on stopping Maya. You can't let her shoot open shots. She's too deadly. And sure enough, they did a job. That's why to Coach Tom Gonzalez is one of the best coaches in this area. He made some adjustments. Kira DaCosta at the line. She got the first. They are in the bonus. Costa's got a nice free throw, real nice touch on it. And she got them both, 18 points now for Akira to Costa. Lauren Walker back in the game for Cardinal Newman. Double team there and another foul against St. Mary's with a 16 point lead now. Still a lot of time left for Cardinal Newman, if they can get a couple threes to drop. One of the problems that Cardinal Newman has, Dave, is they've got 18 fouls already. So that's gonna, it's gonna hurt as they're going down the stretch, especially if they need to get the ball. Any fouls will turn into two shots. Haley Vice Knee trying to get the back door cut to Flores, who actually went back toward the three point line. And there's a turnover that is the 12th against Cardinal Newman. Haley thought Maya was going to go back door there, and Maya stopped on the outside. A little miscommunication. Down the lane to Costa. Nice defense by Haley. Here comes Maya Flores a break. now ahead to Anya Choice. Choice bounces it to Walker. Walker back to Haley Vice Knee for three. A much needed basket by Chief. And a timeout taken by Monica Myrtle as Cardinal Newman tries to get back in the game. Quick time out there. She wants to get her defense set up here. The defense really needs to have a stop. That's the main point. Here's the last play. Anya Choice has it out on the wing. Looks inside to Lauren Walker. Lauren can't shoot it, has two defenders on her, and she kicks it back to Haley, who came late on the play, but gets a good look and buries the three. Important defensive stand here for Cardinal Newman. They have to have some stops to get back in this ball game. There's your championship bracket. Newman with the win over Oakland and then Camp Alindo, both 
big wins. And then uh, St. Mary's, they knocked off Menlo, Atherton, and Pleasant Valley to get here. Campolindo won that third place game. Menlo, Atherton, the consolation championship. Dave, you mentioned Cardinal Newman's never won this tournament. They're going to have to work hard if they're going to pull out a victory today. I think they've reached the finals. And a three-second call that goes against Akira Costa lane violation. Nancy Coach. Cleary, the referee, was right on top of that call. And Cardinal Newman down by 13 now. It's still a little over six minutes to go. A lot of basketball left to play in this championship game. Lauren Walker up top. Interesting to me when Lauren Walker gets that ball that she doesn't turn and face. Walker tapped out of bounds underneath. It's going to stay with Cardinal Newman. Lauren Walker's getting that ball, Dave, right at the 15-foot mark. If she turns, she may have one dribble and a layup. Yeah, they have not been able to get her open underneath. She hasn't scored in this game. There's Maya Flores. And it's Nina Young that comes down with the rebound. Ahead of the pack, Amaya Oliver, the freshman, lays it in. Six points for Oliver, and that builds the lead back up to 15. 5.30 to go. Trying to bounce it down into Walker. Kicked that time in a fresh 30. The speed of St. Mary's defense is just hard to overcome, Dave. They just fly to the ball. They're so quick. Cardinal Newman's rushing a lot of their shots. Inbound goes to Flores. There's Haley Weissneet from the short corner, a little strong. DaCosta heading towards a double-double with her eighth rebound of the ball game to go along with 18 points for St. Mary's, who will now slow the pace just a little bit, a 15-point lead and five minutes of clock to kill here in this Cardinal Luna Classic championship game. Seven seconds to shoot now. Johnson does. And an offensive board by Akira DaCosta. Walker with the block. DaCosta again, and she's fouled. Haley Vice got her. You know, Dave, I think when, when Cardinal Newman has an opportunity to view this, this game, they're going to see that they had more time on their shots. They've missed some easy shots near the basket. And I think one of the things that you want to do as a shooter is you don't want to rush your shot. You want to shoot your shot. If it gets blocked, then it's blocked. But if you're going to rush shots and miss them, you're going to be disappointed with yourself afterwards. So I think this is going to be a good learning experience, a good game for Cardinal Newman to view because they just kind of, they tried to play a little too fast. They missed some shots that if they would have made, this game could have been closer. DaCosta now has 20, and it's the biggest lead of the night for St. Mary's at 17. Easier said than done, Dave, because the, the, the defense for St. Mary's is just so, so fast. Choice with the crossover, trying to get by Ariel Johnson and can't do it. Four thirty to go. There's Haley Vice Knee. Trying to get it back to Walker, and she's fouled by Moss. Interesting that you said that Lauren Walker hasn't scored one basket in this game because that just Jacob, that, that just foul went against Ariel Johnson. Sorry, Nick, but that's four on Johnson, so she's going to have to sit out. I thought Moss got her that time. Yeah, Walker hasn't scored. That's surprising. Obviously a focus on defense for St. Mary's was stopping her tonight, and they've done just that, although she has passed up a few shot opportunities. Cross now, here's Ariel Johnson to DaCosta, guarded by Chief. Oliver down the lane. Nice spin. Nice block. Haley Vice neat with the defense underneath. 
three minutes and 55 to go. A 17 point lead. There's Walker. There's, there wide open. Is. Now she finally there it is. does go down the lane. Oh. That's what I was talking about right there, Dave. She had the opportunity. There's Anya Choice to the rack. Loses the handle, however. Ball goes out of bounds. And I think that was maybe the wrong call. They gave the ball back to Newman. I think it's supposed to be St. Mary's ball there. Anya Choice obviously lost the handle underneath. Yeah. Here's the. That was just after the play. Laura's in the corner, tied up by Caroline Stevens, who hustles over. Again, Dave, when Cardinal Newman's going to look at the films, they're going to see some things they're going to be able to work on. And I think that's what you want in a tournament early in the season like this, to find things your team can improve on. And there's going to be some things that Coach Monica Myrtle's going to be able to, to pick out and, do, and work on. Backdoor cut, Avery Cargill doesn't finish, however. Oliver ended up with the rebound. Tough sequence for Cardinal Newman as they come up empty again, trailing by 17. Yeah, a lot of a lot of shots have just not gone in, the shots I think the girls would normally make. Nina Young content to dribble the clock down under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Crowd helping count it down. Akira DaCosta with another unbelievable move. Yeah, she I now has 22 points. <laughs> I hope the, the viewers were watching that because that's hard to describe. She head faked in the middle of her move and banked it in. Yeah, she ended up, I think, shooting that with the right hand. She's left-handed. Stevens comes down with the rebound. It's a 19-point lead for St. Mary's. Top of the key, here's... Akira DaCosta guarded by Chief. Backdoor cut, Oliver thrown a little high. Well, here's that here's great that, move. Here's that great move, yeah, you, it's hard to describe, but she's just got such an athletic presence. She drives here with her right hand. Again, she's left-handed, and she does use her left hand and is able to flip it off the glass there. She spun the ball in her hand. Unbelievable. That's fun to watch right there, you just can't you can't teach that. That's just athleticism. Newman has not scored in a while. In fact, since it was 36-36, they've scored just 12 points. So a big run, 29-6 run, and Tom Gonzalez wants to take a timeout right here. It will be a 30-second timeout. What a tournament it's been for St. Mary's of Stockton. So they're looking to run the table here. They play in the independent league, Dave, so they, they're going to get to play any teams they want. Their schedule is really good. I coached, I talked to Coach Tom Gonzalez, and they're going to go to Arizona. They're going to play Centennial. Uh, they've got a lot of tough games on their schedule. And, you know, an interesting note on Tom, he had three state championships with his daughter, with one daughter won three straight championships. I mean, he has three daughters, and they all won a state championship. So this guy's just a... A great father, a good coach, does a great job with his team, Dave. Yeah, they've won eight state titles in all. One national max preps championship as well. They were ranked number one most of last year until Pinewood knocked them off in the NorCal championship. They ended up finishing number two in the country. Two minutes to go in this one. Up by 19. Ariel Johnson and Nina Young playing catch up top. Shot clock under 10. Ariel Johnson, beautiful spin to the rack. Ariel Johnson's really stepped up her game here. Yeah, she's had her best game of the tournament right here in the championship, no doubt about that. Avery Cargill tries to answer, and finally Cardinal Luma gets a three. Much needed basket right there. Down by 18, just a minute and 20 to go. Ariel Johnson back up top, and again, they'll work on the clock. Playing catch up top. And Tom Gonzalez wants to take a timeout. He's going to empty the bench a little bit right here. 
We'll take a quick break right here. It is 69-51 St. Mary's over Cardinal Newman here in the championship game. Malloy, Emory, and Vasconi Insurance Services, a professional agency with personal service, insuring wine country since 1890. The Loft, Sonoma County's premier full-service salon in Fountain Grove, voted best of Sonoma County's best salon. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. Bounce pass underneath and the lay in, good. Just checking in, that was Brown. Cargill the other way, no good. Hextrom with an offensive board. Maya Flores, they shut her down. She had 15 in the first half, hasn't scored in the second half. Yeah, I don't think Nina Young made any three-pointers in the second half either. So both coaches did a good job of adjusting to those three-point shooters. The problem was St. Mary's defense is just so fast and Cardinal Newman hurried too many of their shots. When they look at this and they view it, they're gonna see that they had a little more time than they thought. Cargill goes for the steal and gets it. And she's fouled on her way to the rack by Sloan Sanders. Avery Cargill will go to the free throw line. Coach Tom, Tom Gonzalez with a 20 point lead, but he's still coaching it up over there. All the games are on YSN 365 through the whole tournament. Dave, anybody wants to go on there and view any of the games? Yeah, a lot of people have asked about that. They will be indefinitely on YouTube, and we embed them on our YSN 365 videos page. And Cargill gets the second 12 points for Avery Cargill. She's had a good tournament. We're going to have Coach seconds. Monica Myrtle's going to come on overtime with Nick and Bob tomorrow. We're going to talk about the tournament. She'll probably be on around 6, about 5.30, 6 o'clock. Almost a five-second call. They do get it in bounds. Chevelle Brown takes the inbound pass. Into the corner it goes. And a traveling call against St. Mary's. That was Sloan Sanders. Cardinal Newman still playing hard here, Dave. That was a traveling call that time, so that's just the eight turnover by St. Mary's. Anya Choice down the lane. Tried to get a little too fancy with that one. Long outside shot, and that hits the bottom of the net. Nikki Mason, who hasn't played much in the tournament, and she sticks one right at the end of the championship game. Anya Choice, what a play for the freshman. Anya Choice, who drives in, scores, and goes to the free throw line. That, I think that's just, we're just the beginning of watching this young girl. She's a really a great offensive player. She's got so many moves, and she's relaxed now, and you can see it, Dave. She went right to the hoop, a little backhanded layup. Anya Choice completes the three-point play. Seven points here in this championship game, and that's going to do it. St. Mary's of Stockton wins it 74-55, a 19-point victory for the Rams. And, boy, what an impressive one it was, remembering that this game was tied at 36-36 in the third quarter. And from there, St. Mary's turned it up a notch or two, and they pulled away. Great game. It was a heavyweight fight in the beginning, but after Cardinal Newman took some blows, the heavyweight champion is St. Mary's, okay? They came here, they won all three games decisively. None of the games were ended up very close, Dave. I think all the games were 20-point victories at least for St. Mary's. Very strong team. Great, great tournament that Coach Monica Myrtle and everybody here at Cardinal Newman, the gym, have all these volunteers. Well done. So a 19-point win in the championship. Akira DaCosta ends up with 22 points, nine rebounds. No doubt she will be the tournament MVP when all is said and done. 
And uh, boy, what a great tournament for St. Mary's. Wish them luck for the rest of the season. I think these teams are also in the West Coast Jamboree and may even be in the same bracket of that. So they may meet again in a few weeks. So that's going to do it for our coverage here. Again, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to head down the road to Rancho Cotati and watch the NCS Championship football game, the final in this one, 74-55. The St. Mary's of Stockton Rams are your champions for 2016 here in the Cardinal Newman Classic. I think they'll go to Costa. By title sponsor, Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, featuring hand-split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron, delivering quality for over 40 years. Malloy, Emory, and Vasconi Insurance Services, a professional agency with personal service, insuring wine country since 1890.